First and foremost, I got to throw something out there for you guys because a really strange thing happened to me. Um, I made sure I was I was ready, willing, and able um, as soon as the update dropped to get some content recorded and to get it up on YouTube for you guys. But uh, what ended up happening is now I, I had I had this all done, recorded, ready to go, like maybe an hour and a half after the update dropped, and then I I, I counted, I, I calculated the time, and it took. It took 12 hours for this vi for the first video to post. That's why you saw the the Cable Deadpool and the Gambit video like almost back to back so soon posted after each other. Uh, otherwise, if I would have waited on the Gambit one, it would have pushed the rest of the videos e even even longer. So that that that's why I did that. But um, and you heard me in the video like you know I put in the overtime. I made sure I was you know ready because I did. I I got it done. But then it just like the the upload kept on freezing and it was just it was just a mess. But in any case, here we are, and I've been getting a lot of, a lot of questions, a lot of talk, a lot of you know this and that about about Gambit. Um, a lot of people are you know speculating that you know he's like stronger than Moon Knight, that that he's that he's you know that he's a force to be reckoned with, and we're gonna put that to the test. So I thought to kind of you know uh, appease everybody, to give everybody an idea of because you know some people's accounts are are you know fresh and new some you know dolphins out there some whales some people that can afford to you know really stack this guy and we're going to test and see what the difference makes um depending on what kind of build what level of build you actually give this guy because right now i have let's see okay right now this guy's build is not good at all right you, if you saw the last video i i showed it um, I, I went ahead and I got all his, all of his, um, you know, uh, slots amplified, but he, the, the Uru, the, it, it's just, it's just not good. It's really not a great build. I mean, he does have some six star energy attack, but it's nothing, nothing crazy. And his ISO eight set is still, it's stage six and he's got a regular proc obelisk. It's actually pretty good. It's ignore dodge, um, with the 200 proc. Now it, it's, it's basically like, it's like a poor man's energy, right? It's an energy without the chain hit because he gets on his passive, he gets 30% uh, crit damage. So it's very easy to cap this guy's crit damage, right? Because the other stat on energy is crit damage. And so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do this. I'm going to first take him in, do some runs with, with this current build, right? We're going to clock that, and then we're going to come out, and then we're going to put an energy on him. And I'm going to put a mighty energy with beatdown. And I can... I can basically test this as like a regular energy. All you have to do is not fill up the bar, right? So it, it, so then this way I, I could do it with not filling up the bar and then doing it with filling up the bar and seeing what that difference is there, right? Between the proc and like it would be like a regular energy and then an energy with, with beatdown, a mighty energy. And then um, we're going to, then we're going to stack them with some Odin's Blessing. So we're going to give this guy a, a pretty a pretty substantial build when it's all said and done. Um, and then during the course, we'll probably get this ranked up. I might rank that up when I put the energy on them because ISO 8 sets, they're not that hard to, to, to get, right? Like for me, they're kind of a bottleneck, but um, I would imagine that, you know, if you want to give this guy a good build, you'll go ahead and, and, and get that ranked up. So um, we're going to do something like that. So you're going to see all levels of progression with this guy. And then we're going to see how he compares at the very end to characters that I have similar builds on, right? Similar awaken tune. So you know kind of where he fits into the meta. We're going to compare him against Moon Knight. And Moon Knight, he's got I mean this guy's got a maxed out build. He's got a mighty energy, right? Fully awakened ice weight set. We're going to we're going to do the same thing against Bullseye and Bullseye. Um well, he's got a rage. He can't really work with an energy. I don't think anyways fully awakened ice weight set. He's got a maxed out build. We'll compare him against Moon Knight or Moonstone. My a uh, brilliant energy, fully awakened ice weight set and a maxed out build. So his build is going to look something like that. I don't, I don't know if I'm going to give him 20 Odin's Blessings. I might give him 14. I might give him 16. We'll see when we get there. But it's going to be, it's going to be something good. It's going to be something good and something spicy. Uh, but first, now you know there's always that but first, right? So we have some, we have some comments. We have some, um, we have some, uh, some account lookups, some roasts, right? And uh, yeah, we're going to, we're going to jump into that. All right. First up, and, and always, by the way, I will put the I'll put the timestamp on the screen from when where the gameplay starts. If if you know this isn't really your bag, so all right. First up, um, okay, this is uh, so yeah. I, I'm kind of giving up on, on on the names here unless it's uh, really apparent to me. So double S, you know who you are. 
Uh, should I finish Century first or no? I have four null teams and would like a fifth. But I would also like to have an easier time in timeline. Thanks and keep up the great content, IGN Dragon Boss. Okay, so um, I think that, and, and, and it's unfortunate, that Sentry is going to bring you more value because um, Sentry can operate in timeline with a PvE build, right? And if you give him a PvE build, he can operate in PvE content. Null, on the other hand, um, I mean, I have a PvE build on him, and he, I mean, he, he, can, he can do a little bit of work in timeline, but... Um, you know, he, he, you know, because he has that, that passive, right, where he doesn't die for six seconds, but then it went, once that passive's gone, it, it's like, you know, he's, he's toast. If he had a revive, that maybe that would be, you know, a different story, but Sentry, I think he's just, he's kind of better in, in, in you know, as like an all-around character. Um, as unfortunate it is, that's the case. So I'd say, I'd say go ahead and, and get Sentry done, and then, you know, when you're done with that, then you can go ahead and, and, and get an all ranked up. But there's my advice to you. All right, next up. Okay, uh, this is from uh, Regiani Hallibron. Uh, I didn't even notice, but um, what's up, man? Uh, he says, P.S., he is a bit better than Moon Knight from what I heard. And he's talking about Gambit. He's commenting on the Gambit video. All right, yeah, we're, we're going to put that to the test. We're going we're gonna to find out because they're going to have a very similar build when this is all said and done. And this way we can, we can uh, compare them, you know, on, on level playing ground, right? All right, next up. This gentleman, HL, says, despite being an absolute whale and having one of the best accounts in the game, he is so humble and meticulous when roasting weaker slash newbie players' accounts. Uh, thanks, man. I really appreciate that. Uh, yeah, I try to, you know, it, this channel's got to gotta, gotta benefit, you know, everybody. Everybody from all walks of life, right? The, the free-to-plays to, you know, newbies to the, to the absolute whales, right? I can't just, de you know, design this channel around just helping vets and, and whales. Because it just it just wouldn't be right, wouldn't be fair, and and I think it's I think it's better, and I think you know just having the collective, everybody be able to get together and share ideas and stuff like that, um, is just it's just more fun, right? It's more fun, and I like the sense of community. I like the back and forth with you guys. So yeah, that that's just how I roll. That's just how I am. All right, thanks for thanks for the comment, man, and the compliment. All right, next up we have um, VW. After the new update testing um, finished. You do Shadowlands Sages. How much you go? Long. Okay, so I'm 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 interpreting this as he's asking um, how how far I go in Shadowland. What you know? What what floor I get up to? Typically, you know, I haven't put Shadowland in the longest time, but I've been getting a lot of requests to do Shadowland. And as a matter of fact, um, I like this comment because it's it's a segue into um, I have something very very uh, spicy, entertaining. That's something I think you guys are gonna get a huge kick out of. And um, it's just a matter of you know when I put that put that up. If this update didn't drop, that would have been one of the next videos that I did. Uh, but I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to do that. Uh, I'll try to make that priority and get that up one of the next like maybe three videos because I think you guys are really gonna like it. And I'm gonna try to get to that Shadowland content for you guys. All right, thanks for the, thanks for the comment. All right, Dave Stewart says been waiting for a cable tier three forever, and I'm totally happy with how he turned out. Where would you rank him among the other blast type tier three and awaken? Um, yeah, so, uh, I'm, I'm still, you know, uh, that's going to be, I think the next, next video is going to be cable and basically kind of same way, um, with, with Gambit here. We're going to, we're going to rank them up. We're going to, you know, throw energy on them. We're going to, we're going to test this guy out. We're going to see how far he can go, how he stacks up to other characters. And if you guys want to see, um, like another ranking list, like, you know, um, tunes in general or, or any specific type of ranking list, um, let, let me know in the comments. All right. Thanks for the, thanks for the comment, buddy. All right, next up, uh, okay, Dave, Dave Stewart uh, uh, again. I didn't even realize that. I, I do these things. All right, please do a video on Cable with an energy. I have one on mine, and he's crushing it, still trying to perfect the rotation with the new uni. Um, IGN uh, DJ the Ninja. Um, okay, so, yeah, I'm, I'm going to do that. I, I just said I'm going to do that. I'm going to, yeah, do uh, yeah, cab Cable with an energy. Um, we're going we're gonna to check him out. And um, we're gonna see just how difficult it is to keep that rotation tight um, and on point with, uh, with with the energy. All right, let's um let let's go let's go check out this this guy's uh, account here. So all right, here we go. This is DJ the Ninja. All right, let's check out his cards. I don't know. He didn't ask me to roast him, but I'm guessing that's why he put his IGN there. So uh, if you don't want me to look your account up and you put your IGN there, um, make sure you mention that. 
All right, so he's got um, all but one premium card. Let's see what he's got here. Oh, nice. He's got the proc. I like it. This, I think he's the first one that had this card that actually has the proc. And you have energy attack. Okay, you can get the all attack, but energy attack, that's the, you know, the next best thing on this. So that, that's actually a pretty good roll on this card. Six quality as well. I like it. Uh, okay, and he's got the all attack crit damage. Okay, that's that I mean that's good stats on the card. I think you're missing um, I think you can get like max HP as the other stat where that buff is, but still nonetheless kind of lower quality, but it's all right. Now uh, he's got one of the attack stats, crit rate and dodge. So that's that's not a bad roll either. Um, not a bad idea that he went ahead and crafted that. I'm guessing that he doesn't have a whole lot of other options, but um, I might have even cra crafted this one. I was thinking about maybe doing like a PvP, PvE balance card set and adding this one. If I can get a, a high quality like six or seven with all attack and that proc on it, um, I was thinking about that. And this is actually a really good roll on this card. Um, you know, it's a kind of lower quality, it's three quality, but like I said, if you don't have a whole lot of options, and then this, I would definitely get, I mean, even besides the whole crafting, you know, change this card out. You don't, you don't have the proc or the attack stat on it. Definitely get rid of that. You should be able to, what I would do is, um, all of, like, if you don't have a whole lot of pre other premium cards, right, to choose from, when you rank up cards, rank up, like, just this Loki card. It's a card you should have, you should be able to get an abundance of these, so every card you take up to six stars should be that Loki card, so this way you're not spending cards, mythic cards, re-rolling the Loki card, and sooner or later you'll get, you'll get a good roll on one. That's what I did, and I got plenty of good rolls on them. All right, let's check out his, um, his, uh, his characters. Okay, Rage on, um, Scarlet Witch. Nice, Fully Awake and Ice Awake. Patience on, um, I don't know if I like that. Patience, no good. No bueno. You can roll a, 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 an obelisk. An obelisk would be, be better, like, especially if you're doing for PvP. Do invincibility, like, ignore, dodge, um, you know, guard break. You know, something like that. Or whatever other stat, stat that you need. Judgment on Dormammu, nice, nice, I like it. Although, you know what, like, Odin's Blessings on Dormammu, I'll probably be stripping my Dormammu down. Um, I had him like that for ABX, and now, you know, he's not he's not met, met or needed for ABX. Um, so, um, I'll be stripping mine down, I suggest. I mean, it's only one Odin's Blessing, but, you know, I would I would take that off. Odin, definitely a good character to throw those on. And then this, no way. So, Silver Surfer has penetration, right? He's got penetration, um, native penetration. So, this is, is basically, you basically have like a guard break, crit damage, 200 proc on them. That's basically what you have. And that goes for any character that has penetration on their skills, right? So, um, I wouldn't put destruction on this guy. No. And and I wouldn't put the, you know, Odin's blessings, like, I don't know. Let, let, let's see what else you got. Okay, Thanos, maybe using him for ABX, right? Okay, you got, got Cable here with the energy. I like it. You got this man stacked. Pretty good. Pretty good stuff. And then this guy with uh, destruction. Yeah, I wouldn't, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't like that. I think he would probably do better with like a Try to roll like a double mind damage proc, um, unless I don't know you're using them for like PV PVP, um, but still I'd probably even go with like, you know, try to get like double mind damage or like guard break mind damage and um, invincibility. I think that would be better if you're trying to use them for like PVP. Okay, her. Okay, yeah, it's here again. Get those Odin's blessings off or give them to someone that matters. Here, let's, let's scroll down here. Some of the spicy tunes. Okay, so Medusa with insight. I don't like that Medusa. She's she's too good for insight in my opinion. Beta Ray Bill with energy. I like that a lot. Medusa with with the rage. Couple of blessings or one. Not too shabby, but you know she's she's kind of she's she's falling off a little bit, right? She's falling off a little bit. And Sentry got the energy on him. I like it. It's Moden's blessings and yeah, I you know, pretty good, pretty good. Thor with the energy as well. Let me know how that's working for you. Um, I think he, he like he could. I think you have to be very skilled. And it takes a lot of, you know, focus and, and um, you know, just, just practice. But um, I think he could work with it. I think he could. It, I think it would be a little tricky just because that residual lightning damage, is you got to worry about that activating the proc. But I, I think you could make it work. And this guy with Judgment, I like that as well. Her with Transcendence. Hmm. Okay. Well, at least you don't have any Odin's Blessings on her. I'm glad to see that. This guy with Authority. Um, okay. Yeah, we don't really care about Winter Soldier or Spider-Man, really. Okay. It's a nicely rolled, and her with authority. Um, I guess if you don't have like a rage or a judgment to give her authority, you know, I, I don't know, using her for PvP. I have never heard of anybody using Luna and her doing any real work in PvP. Um, and okay, so 
I, I, I think she's pr probably good with the, with an authority, right? And then these uh, physical defense, yeah, take that off them. I don't know, you're probably not using Star Lord for much. Okay, energy on her, I like it. I like it a lot. Excellent regen on Hulk, yes, but th that one's blessing. That's really not doing much for him. Let's see what you got on Cap. Um, destruction, okay, not too shabby. All right, you got a lot of transcendence. You got some patience over here in authority. Um, okay, rage on Professor X. I'd probably take that rage off of Professor X and what do you got on this guy? Energy on him. Okay, so you're getting geared up to, to maybe awaken him. Um, I, I don't know. I'd probably... I'm honestly not sure. I'm, I'm honestly not sure who you would put that on right now. Like maybe when you, when you get Bullseye up, um, do that. But yeah, I don't know. See, thing is, like Professor X, he's not really like he's good for like Ebony. Like if you're still doing regular world boss, okay, okay. He's he, you know, he's not he's not that bad. And then Namor with destruction with Odin's blessings. Yeah, I I no, I, I wouldn't do that. I would yeah, take those Odin's blessings. You know, get get Moon Knight ranked up. Get Moon Knight work on Moonstone. Get the two moons. And then, you know, swap some, some of those Odin's Blessings, give those to them, and, um, and you know, try to get an energy for um, for, um, for for both of them, actually. Uh, but, okay, hopefully that helps you out. And let's move on to the next. Okay, so that, that was him. All right, uh, this guy roast me. I just roasted you. Nice, nice. He, 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 he did ask me. He did. See, I told you, man. I just go in there and I kind of, I, I pop the comments. I take some screenshots and I, I throw them up. So there's not a whole lot of rhyme or reason. Um, there is a little bit. I do read them, right? I just kind of glance at them like, okay, that looked good. Boom, boom, boom. Throw them on up. All right. Uh, so I already roasted you. I'm looking for some extra pointers. I also just subscribed and I'm loving all the videos, man. Thanks. Um, yeah, no problem. Uh, so speaking of this, actually, um, so... Um, I noticed, so I, I I really haven't been like really checking out and analyzing the, the the analytics of videos, but it looks like about half of the people who watch the videos aren't subscribed. So, if you you know if you're enjoying the content, um you know uh, subscribe because you know it just shows that more people are supporting the channel, and that's going to encourage me to actually you know get down here and uh and, and make make these videos. I've been saying it that you know I've had a lot of people reach out to me like on Discord and other platforms and tell me how much they're enjoying them and it's stuff like that that like I said it gives me the motivation to actually put this stuff out for you guys, put a little bit more work and that, you know effort and love into the video. So, yeah, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Hit hit the bell too and even the like button, right? Leave a comment, that sort of thing. All right. Um next up. Daniel Daniel P it says uh, just subscribe to you, so you're got so you're Godzillanator that is always number one in DRX. Uh, thanks, man. I'm glad you glad you found the channel. Uh, yeah, I, I used to be number one. I like when it first came out, I was super serious about DRX. I said, man, I got to get that number one spot, and I had it for a while. And it's just it's it's very time consuming. It's very time consuming, and I just I can't really you know I like as, lately like especially with doing the videos, I'm having a tough time actually um, just doing my five runs. But okay. Um, I appreciate you, man. Thank you. All right, so that is that. That's all of the that's all the, the comments and the roast and that sort of thing. Now we're gonna get into the meat and potatoes of the video. So let's um let's go and let's rock this out. Let's um we're gonna take him into world boss first. And yeah, I got I guess stage 14. We'll 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 stick with this one. And here we'll give him his own lead and we'll just run we'll run with this team. We'll actually take Gladiator off. We'll give um, in here. Boom and and boom. That works, right? This guy does. He busts physical attack as well here. Nick Nick Fury. Or, you know, I like this guy. I like that guy. All right. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go in here. We're gonna clock his time where he where he clocks in at, and then um, and then yeah, we're gonna make make some changes and 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 see the progression and see exactly how much. The, the energy and, and Odin's blessings and fully awakened eyes awaits that. See how much that actually matters. I probably should have came in here, did some practice runs before I uh, turn the turn the camera on, right? All right, let's try this again here. There we go. Yeah, you, you got to cancel fast, otherwise you're gonna you're gonna lose that proc. There we go, there we go. I like it, I like it. Can we outrun this? Can we outrun the run the the goo? The death goo. Yeah, I mean he's he's so easy to play, right? He's like he's very easy to play. 
I like it. There we go, there we go. Okay. Alright, I'm not going to go into his other skill because I don't want to prematurely activate. I hate those things. Alright, yeah, you can obviously, you know, I'm insta-canceling, um, insta-canceling the skills. And yeah, with, with Cable, you know, if you're doing a soul... Come on, man. I was just going to say, if you're doing a solo run, should be pretty easy to, like, actually outrun that goo because, you know, you can move around with his fifth, right? Get kind of far away from, from Null. And then, you know, make sure you're back far enough before... Ah, we lost it. Come on. All right, we're, we're just, you know, we're, we're going to let that rock. We're going to let it ride. You know, um, may, maybe I'll do it again. Maybe I'll do it again, and then, like, you know, I'll just put the fastest run. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll put the I'll put the time on the screen, actually, just because, you know, I don't want the video to run, like, you know, crazy long. Because, yeah, we, we, have, we have a bit of testing. We have a bit of testing to do. Oh, don't activate. Okay, good, good, we got it. Okay, so it was, like, 323, 324 happened there. I couldn't hit the skill. I don't know. We're just going to chalk that up as it is what it is here. Um, not much you can do about it. And then, I don't know how that happened, but that happened. That's the thing that happened. Yeah, what is going on? Why is that? You see that? The proc is stuck. The proc is stuck up there. It's so weird. It was stuck on five. Okay. All right, so I, I went ahead. I went ahead and I got this guy. So, okay, so he has stage 11, uh, Power of Angry Hulk. I mean, I, I could probably just go ahead and, and, and finish it, but we'll, we'll, we'll rock with this. We'll rock with this for now. And then once we do the Odin, Odin's Blessings, then we will uh, we'll go ahead and, and get that ranked up. So, yeah, Uru is still the same. This is still the same for, for right now. It's not going to be in a second. But, yeah, I just want to say this this actually hurts because with crafted cards, you're not really so concerned about um, a lot of the other stats. Like, you know, you don't re really need the crit damage or the crit rate and, you know, that sort of thing. So the or ignore dodge, even like recovery rate or even some of the, like, resists now um, actually um, are a little more valuable, surprisingly enough. Um, you know, depending on, you know, what you actually have on your cards. Um, okay, so... This is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to do. We're going to give him... So I actually got... I rolled this one earlier. I, I think it might have took, took me like 15 obelisks, but I've been stacking them up. I haven't done really any rolls on these, but... And I was I was really happy because these are such a pain to roll. They're the worst. All right, so we're going to put this one on him right here. All right, let's go ahead. But yeah, that hurts. 200 proc with the ignore dodge. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, okay, let's go ahead. Let's equip this. Yes. All right, make sure it's the right one because that's an expensive mistake. Yes, it is. Okay, bada bing, bada broomstick. Equip that. All right, so we, we did it. We did it. We got this on. And now we're going to go ahead and, uh, and test them out in World Boss. Um, oh, and by the way, let me let me know how you guys like the uh, like the background. Somebody mentioned that the other one was like, you know, it was just a little much. Um, and, and I kind of agree. So I went and I actually bought, um, I bought this. I got a, I got a membership to the thing. So I have, I have a large selection of these like themes and backgrounds. It's mostly for streaming and I'm, I'm going to try to do that. I really want to. Um, and, uh, so you might, might see that soon, but all right, here we go. We're going to jump in here and we're going to see what the difference is. Now I'm going to try to, I'm going to do my best to not activate the beat down on, I mean, I'm sure it's going to activate here and there at least a little bit, but, um, what we're, we're going to see, we're going to see, I really haven't tried to do this. It, I just, it, it occurred to me and I thought like, Hey, why, why not? Let's, let's, let's give it a try. Let's see if we can actually, you know, make this happen here. So I'll try to have it activate maybe like on the four skill, right? So, okay. So if we go here, we go three, uh, six, five. Wow. Okay. So that, that definitely is a bit more. It's kind of funky, right? It, it's it would be a lot easier if I didn't have to worry about that. But the fact that I'm I'm worrying about not having the beatdown go off, so I'm trying not to run around and and yeah, it, it's a bit funky. But I want to try to get this as close to this as possible for you guys. So, okay, there we go. We got the beat down there. Okay, that's where we want it. Now we might have it go off here. I don't know. And we're getting snagged up. Okay, that's really not good. But okay, come on. There you go. Wake up. All right. Okay, good, good, good. It did not go off there. That's what we want. We want it to, now we want it to go off. 
perfect. Okay. You don't want the regular proc to go off, though. And here we go. Excellent. Very nice. Now we want... Okay, it's... It's gonna go off here. There's not much I can do. If I if I went into another skill, it would have uh, it would have activated the uh, the energy proc. Snagged up, snagged up. Nope. Good, 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 good. Yeah, I might go off here again. But I'm trying here, guys. I'm trying. I'm really, really trying. Okay, it did not go off there. It did not go off there. And if we can get it to go off here. Excellent. Okay, perfect, 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 perfect. Okay. I don't think we need... Okay, wow. Wow. Look at the time difference. So, three... It was, what, 353 to 324. Okay, mind you, what I'm... What the changes I made at this point, the ISO 8 set and the... Um, and the energy. And the energy and the beatdown. I mean, you could probably go and you can count how many times it actually went off. Um, it definitely didn't go off every time. I think it might have went off once, maybe, maybe twice. I, th I think I think once though, and I mean once at the right time. Um, it can go off on the four, and, and you know it's not it's not making a huge difference there. It's not making a huge impact. Um, so let's. Um, and I, I think that was a pretty fair run. It probably could have went you know a little bit better, but you know we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna breeze through this. We're gonna breeze on through this. Okay now. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to I'm, I'm gonna throw some throw some Odin's blessings on him. I'm not exactly sure how many yet. Maybe 14, maybe 16. Um, we'll 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 see. We'll see what I have. All right, guys. Here we are. We're back and I went ahead and I went and I fixed all his Uru slots. So I gave him 14 Odin's blessings and I fully awakened his eyes. So wait, set. You know, one thing, okay, so I'm, I'm kind of a knucklehead. Now, I wanted to test them with, um, before doing this, with, with the beatdown, right? Using the energy with the beatdown. Um, but I jumped the gun. I'm very sorry about that. It just kind of, it kind of slipped my mind. Um, ooh, let's see, let's see what we get here. Let's see what we get. 48, not too shabby. Oh, and you know what? I went ahead and I um, I got I got uh, three three of these guys. So I got got these boxes here, right? And if you guys want to see me uh, open those, because the reason why I got them is because um, I, I'd like to, excuse me, I'd like to awaken Nightcrawler, bring you that content. But you know, I'm I'm all out of feathers because I went ahead. I got um, uh, Cable's uniform and 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 this guy here, Deadpool's uniform, fully upgraded, right? And that cost a lot of feathers, so I was running low on them. And um, and then you know, so I, I I have to get I his gears is still at 20, right? So I'd have to get those at 25, and then the, the feather cost to actually awaken them. And let's see how many. So I have 820 feathers right now. Um, hopefully, you know those boxes they contain some feathers, right? So if we go to you no know, my inbox here, and so it's gonna be. Um, these packs here right so they have you can get up to 500 i mean that's a pretty rare drop but um th that would be the idea that would actually be what we want surprisingly enough the day i i would i would say that i i want feathers out of one of these boxes um so if you guys want to see that let me know and, I, and i'll do that in the uh, in the next video all right so yeah my apologies i did want to test that but you know won't really be able to at this point. Can't really go backwards. So let's see what this, but in any case, you can see the progression of the build, right? So that was basically like with a regular energy. And then now we're gonna see what it's with with, with a much better build. It's not fully maxed out, right? He's missing what, six Odin's Blessings, but it, it's pretty close. It's pretty close if you ask me. Um, and because all of the other Uru on there, they're attack Uru, right? So it, you're, it's not that much of a, decline i mean obviously the odin's blessings would be better but um now if those other uru were like skill cooldown and ignore defense and something like that then it would be then it would be a bit of a difference but so let's uh, let's try that again let's see if we can clock that in a little bit faster yeah I personally i i think it can go uh, a little bit better But yeah, you, I mean, you could just you could just see the difference, right? Yeah, I, I think, um, yeah, we're going to get snagged up. Yep, I knew it. Um, you could tell because if, if Ancient One, if he uh, if he comes out for you, then... It's a, it's... 
then you know you're about to get snagged up. And here again, okay, so we shouldn't get snagged here. We should not get snagged here. I'm, I'm far enough out. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Okay. All right, here we go. Here we go. I mean, look at that. I mean, that that's in my opinion. You know, that that's some impressive damage. I, I'm curious to see how he stacks up against. Okay. He should be done here. Should be done there. Okay. Wow. So I told you it was better. 408. 408. Yeah. That's. I mean, you know, it's it's like six seconds, but it actually right. Um, it, it just makes that it makes that difference a lot and. Probably even go better too. Probably even go better too. I mean, that was just you know two two runs just popping in here. Um, so yeah, that's a difference of let's see, ten you know fifteen seconds. Um, yeah, and you know obviously that that stacks up, right? I don't I don't gotta tell you that much. All right, so let's see now. Let's see how he compares to. Let's do like um, so. I can't bring Moonstone in here because she's female. I mean, I could do you know I could play her at a higher stage. Actually, she can go on the next stage, next stage higher, just to see, you know, what the difference is. But we could do like Bullseye and uh, and, and Moon Knight. All right, and to make it convenient, we'll just we'll put them all on the same team, right? Put them all on the same team, and then you know I'll just swap one in for for the other. Um, yeah, we'll just do that. We'll we'll just we'll just leave it just like this. Yes, sir. And uh, you know I'm gonna do the same thing for Cable. I'm gonna do the same exact thing for Cable. So. Um, you know, if you're not subscribed already, subscribe and then uh, even what the the bell, right? Hit the bell so you can get notified when I when I throw that up, which will be will be soon. All right, so let's do let's do bullseye, and we know his rotation. Okay, yeah, sometimes right that three doesn't that three doesn't want to go off. Very annoying, very annoying. It's like so you got to sit there and like you got to hold it for way longer than you think you'd have to. Bullseye has got some pretty good damage. And you know what? I, I can show you the build. I'll show you the build. Um, we're gonna, we got snagged up with, with uh, Gambit, so, you know, I guess it's only fair, right? See, I think uh, Bullseye's true value is, you know, be able to pop him in and use his Awakening quickly. Because, um, yeah, if, if he gets he gets guard broken like this a lot, um, if, you know, if you're not using that Awakening skill... Wait for, wait for this. Wait for this. There we go. I want to snag us up. So let's see if we can actually outrun this. But yeah, wow, he's he's a lot slower. He's a lot slower. I'm just I'm gonna try that again. I'm gonna try that again because I think you know some things. There was some funky stuff going on. But yeah, you see, in with with the lesser build, I mean, so Bullseye has a he's got a full stack of Odin's blessing, so you know he's just he's got him on that. But yeah, I mean, you can see the burst damage here, right? He's got some really good burst damage, and that's how I use him. That's how I use him. I use him um, to pop him in, do that burst damage, and then and then swap in, you know, my next character. Okay, yeah, see that that that's the issue. That's where he's gonna get. That's where he's going to get some points docked off. Okay, yeah, we're going to wait for this Awakening skill to come off cooldown here. And then, yeah, you see I'm not getting pushed back anymore once I use that. And you could also do that at um, at the end from 7 to 0 bars. You can actually attack Null while he's, you know, before Thor actually strikes the, strikes the hammer down. See, I'm just getting interrupted there. It's, it's terrible. I guess we'll go ahead and we'll finish this just to we need that three to come off cooldown there. Okay, there we go. Boom. Okay, yeah, we should not get interrupted here. We should be able to take them down. There we go. Okay, so 346. Bullseye at 346. I think that was a pretty fair run. There's only so much you could do to actually, you know avoid getting getting interrupted and mind you gambit was 408 he's quite a bit faster actually bullseye is slower than gambit um before i went ahead and put the odin's blessings on but here's the thing 
bullseye has a rage, right? And from all the testing that I've done, it's making, so somebody made this suggestion, right? That it's not making rage worse, the, the Pearson cards, it's not making rage worse, it's making all the other CTPs better. Okay, so that, that that's one way of looking at it. That's a different perspective, but um, in any case, it's still making rage worse, right? Um, it, it just it just is. At least the amount of PSZ that, that I have on my cards. I was experiencing this, experiencing this even at sixteen um, percent. That that's when I really you know just even thought about it, so thought about the notion, and, and did the testing. But mostly on on nineteen percent is is how I did this. Hopefully, you know, we don't have to run this too many times with, with Mr. Moon Knight. I mean, look at that. I mean, Moon Knight, I don't know. Is he going to is he gonna be um, faster than Moon Knight? I'm, I'm curious about this because Moon Knight is a boss. Yeah, he's, he's flying through this, man. Are we going to get snagged up? We didn't get snagged. We did not get snagged. Okay, you know, I'm, I'm actually I'm going to wait for the Awakening skill. Here we go. I think that's a smarter play. Maybe. We'll find out. Okay, the prop is a little late there. Wow, okay, so what was that? 416? Or yeah, 416. So I mean maybe I need a little more practice with uh with Gambit. Um and he can go a little bit faster. But from where it from where it looks, Moon Knight's still faster. Moon Knight is still king, at least on my account. But here, I'll go. Let I'll go. I'll show you the build. Moon Knight's build is is better. I, I think I showed it in the beginning. But yeah, so Moon Knight, he just he has a full stack, fully awake and ice weight set, and he's got this energy with with all attack. Um, now, um, I thought that the beatdown would work better on Gambit because you're you're able to run around right um, quite a bit. You're not in his skills, you know, the whole time, um, and you know you can move on the fifth skill, right? So it's one of those movable skills, but you know, it, it's a difference. I mean, is that making the difference? Is that going to be, if I, if I swap those to all Odin's blessings, is that going to, um, be eight seconds? I don't know. I don't know. I don't think it'd be eight seconds. I think maybe half of that. So if they, if it was completely even, if I, if I gave him the rest of those, um, if you guys like really want to see that, I mean, I could probably go ahead and do that. Um, but I think I might leave his build actually where it is. Yeah, all his skills are, are ranked up. Um, and okay, so last but not least, let's go ahead and okay, so Moonstone. Let, let's let's throw Moonstone on a team and let's see how fast she can actually do. So she's gonna go up to stage 15. Stage 15 for her. And here we'll give her the same lead. You know, we'll just throw her on this team. We'll swap out Gambit. Gambit's a mutant, not a human. So. And um, here we go. We'll do this. Let's see how how fast or slow Moonstone is compared to compared to the rest of these guys. All right, swap her in. She does have the beat down. I mean, I could show you the build after, but okay. wow, wow. I mean, that that's more than half the bars, right? It's more than half the bars. Are we gonna get snagged? Yeah, we're gonna get snagged. All right, so I, yeah, I, I've, I've pointed this out a few times. Yeah, you see one of the, when attacking strikers come out for you, you're going to get snagged up. It's a done deal. Okay, he might be done here. Yeah, he's done here. Wow. Four, 435, we'll call that. 435. Moonstone. And you know, hey, you know, I'll throw all these numbers up on the screen. Um, and one other thing I just, I just want to, I want, I want to do. One other thing I want to do is okay so bullseye you know i i put a lot of a lot of um a lot of value in bullseye i've talked them up quite a bit and the reason is is this so we're, we're gonna we're gonna see um just how many bars of damage he does on his awakening skill right in, in the amount of time we're gonna clock that and then we're gonna do that for for the other characters and see where he falls where exactly he falls so three or six three five four and so it'll just be like in the first 10 seconds he get he's getting uh, just about the 52 bars so okay so we'll do 10 um to 52 bars for for bullseye okay and now let's do that for for gambit let's see uh how where where he gets him down to in 
in those uh, in, in 10 seconds. Oh, you know what? I gotta charge. I gotta charge up the. I gotta charge up the beat down, right? It would only be fair, or maybe it wouldn't. But I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it anyways. We're gonna charge that up. There we go. Three, six, five. Okay, so, all right, he's about a bar faster in that amount of time. One bar faster. It's pretty much exactly one bar faster. All right, now let's see, see Moon Knight. So I just want you to see, like, the difference is, you know, what, if you're using the strategy where you're popping characters in and out, right, um, being able to do that much damage in that short amount, right, in 10 seconds, right, you know, eight bars or, or you know depending on which stage you're on um is is very valuable okay, I think it might have been a little bit of a late prop there okay so he went a little we went a little longer but that's just that's just his rotation um so you know it's a few seconds longer but you know he was doing uh, more more bars I don't know they, it's it's tough to compare moon Knights because his you know it just you, you, you see what I mean it, the, the way his rotation works is you go into the second one there's a lot of damage on you know the the three five four afterwards right you see what I'm saying okay so I, I just wanted to make make that comparison and um, so somebody was asking to see gambit in danger room extreme so let me cue that up and we'll get that we'll get that on the screen here we are we're queuing up for the run here um yeah yeah we're queuing up we're gonna see just how how this man does oh and by the way i wanted to wear the glasses for for half the video i forgot so i'm putting them on now i know it's a short you know portion of it but hey you know we we got it in it's gambit rags the riches right went from a, a you know, a mediocre build to, to something special. Now, I'm not sure if, if he can actually skip the phase because that, that's really important. I'm guessing, you know, he's going to be able to do, you know, I mean, the burst damage, right, really important. And he, he hits hard and he hits fast. So he's going to be able to take him through the phases. But um, the question is, is he, can he skip? Can he skip? Um, and that, and that, that may be due, like, if you, if you have, like, Pierce on your cards, he may be able to, he may be not, maybe not. Okay, so we actually pushed him down. I, I don't know who that was. I, oh, it was definitely me. <laughs> I'm the only one who did damage. Okay, so we're gonna die here. We're gonna die. Yeah, we're we're dead. There's no there was no way I'm surviving that. I got you know we got the lasers, we got strife with his beam, and then we have a freeze on us too. No way. You get that freeze during that time, you're a, you're a done deal. But it's okay here. I'm gonna charge this up. And bye bye strife, bye bye strife, bye bye. Oh my God! What? No way! What? Dude, that is insane. We almost killed him. We we almost he was almost a done deal. Six bars away. Six bars. My goodness gracious, this man is insane. Okay, he's done here. Bye bye. Wow, wow. N nicely done, guys. Nicely done. But Jesus, I mean, that was a, that was probably one of the fastest matches I've ever done for Strife. One of, even faster than Ghost Rider. Now, I've done some funky stuff with Sharon Rogers. She's, she's done some funky stuff for me, but man, oh man, that, that was quite the run. Quite the run. Whew. Okay, so guys, th there you have it. There is the official showcase of our man Gambit, right? He went from rags to riches. Uh, you know, we gave him, you know, that, that, that build we had on before, which, you know, it was a pretty bad build. I, I, I want to say the, um, the, uh, the obelisk, that was actually a good obelisk, but does it compare to a mighty energy? You know, not so much. He actually went, um, quite a bit faster just, just by swapping that, just by swapping that. And, and you know, a lot of it's got to be due to the, you know, the chain hit, right? That was basically the only difference because I did not charge up that, that beat down, right? If you, if you remember, um, yeah, so I'm gonna throw the times on the screen. I'll, I'll reiterate them uh, real quick. So the the original build, he clocked in at 324, 
after we swapped um, just for the energy, he went up to 353, or no, um, yeah, 353, and then we did two runs. I did I did two runs um, with uh, the. Hang on a sec. Oh yeah, oh yeah, okay. So I yeah, I did two runs, and one was 402, and the, and the higher one was 408. I'm guessing you know the just needed a, a you know little practice just to get a feel for it. So yeah, so we went from 353 to 408, and then um, yeah, we have Bullseye who came in at, at 346, which is actually slower. And, and if you look at Bullseye's you know build, it's pretty substantial. But like I said, a lot of his value is just being able to swap him in, do that damage, and then swap him out for a different character. I wouldn't try to solo with Bullseye. That that's just that's just me though. And then we had uh, Moon Knight. In at 416, and then Moonstone at 435 on the on the uh, stage higher. So there it is, guys. There it is. Thank you for watching. Um, yeah. So I have the cable. I have the cable coming next for you. I'm gonna do basically the same exact thing. We're gonna see, you know, just where this man uh, fits into the meta. But Gambit, he's good. He's definitely really good. I mean, you saw that. You saw that uh, DRX uh, showcase there. But um, yeah, he can, he can be used. Will he be able to carry me from 40 to 45? I don't know about that. I don't know about that. We'll, we'll, we'll have to see once I unlock 40. But, yeah, if you want to see the cable, um, you know, stay tuned for that. Um, subscribe, all that stuff. And, um, you know, so you stay breezy. But most of all, friend, you stay safe out there. All right. I'll catch you later.